Hello guys, and welcome to the next episode of our Sophie Athlier Let's Play. In today's episode, I believe I said we were going to go to the library, right? So I'll go ahead and do that, find out what the heck that missing part is. And uh, with that, we're just going to make more items today, go gathering, probably beat the heck out of that boss again, because yeah. And I uh, hope it's not raining outside, because look at that, the windows are kind of really dark. Yeah. And we're about to go! Oh my god, it is running outside. Why? Why today, out of all days, do you have to rain? Okay, so just like the last save file, um, I think I'm going to actually, uh, avoid... Well, no, not like my save file, but because of my other save file I have, I think I'm going to avoid the well for so well, well, for so long, because, uh, not only does it waste time, look at this man, like, uh, it's already getting dark. It's already getting dark outside, and it's just because I went to the well. Yeah, no, no, no. But because of my other save file, I don't know why it's thundering now, that's kind of like, why? Um, I'm going to avoid the well for a little bit, because, uh, Whenever it's a new day, you get new water anyways, and in the future you don't need that much water. So it just kind of wastes inventory space when you're looking for items. Well, that's for the future talk. Okay, so there you are, librarian. There you are. Is it these books? It would. It would a lot, actually. Ooh, right over here. That is true. Ooh, there we go. Yeah, settle. So, uh, slight spoilers, guys. Uh, settle is actually, um, paper. So instead of it being spelt letter, they spelt it settle. Cause, uh, why not, right? Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and fast travel. I don't need to go to the street. I'm just going to go back here and back into the house. Is that into the house? Why the heck am I outside of the house? Goodness. Bam! Oh yeah. Wait, does that mean I get to like know what the other one is now? Ah, there we go. What's this? Area with uni night, red uni. Okay, so we can go back to the beginner stage and get like some unis and we'll unlock this one too. Okay, but we do have enough ingredients to at least make one or two stuff, so let's do this! Okay, what should I make? Uh, I want any neutralizer? Ah, uh, so we have to go find that red saddle. I need paper! What? Dang it, so I should have went to the librarian then. It would have gave me paper and then I could have used the paper to... Ah, but she's gonna be closed by the time I... Go... Now... Okay, well... I guess we're going on adventure then, guys! Next episode, we'll probably decide to make something, I don't know. Where are we going next? I made the mistake of not keeping track of time, so this could be a longer episode? Could also be a shorter episode. Kind of so so. Ah, oh, that's right, we have events we're doing, right? Well, not events, uh, requests. So we need beehives and monster feathers. I think this one will have our monster feathers. I don't know about the Uni, but let's go anyway, shall we? Adventure! And now it's nighttime. Oh yeah, there's grass people, right. Be careful of those little grass guys. Oh wait, what's this? Is it red uni? Is it red uni? Ah, we got the red uni! Okay, so since we're here, we might as well go gathering. But yeah, careful of these guys here. Um, they look kind of goofy. Oh yeah, these are the beehive areas. But uh, these guys can actually uh, hurt a lot if you're not prepared. They kind of shoot poison at you. 
Well, only if they use the specials for now. Just like stronger one of these guys later on. And which, yeah, they, they go ahead and shoot poison at you, and they also do damage. Uh, not big damage, but like damage. Okay. I'll show you. Let's do our best. I regret everything. Turned out to have two green guys. Right, new stuff! Okay, so this one increases our defenses. Oh, this one increases our damage. Okay, okay. So since they're going ahead to do that, I'm just gonna have all my defenses up while powering up my guys. So that should power them up. And, uh... Oh, this causes damage to everybody. And if I use the spending shovel, it'll be after I get the boost. Okay, so I'm gonna have you go on the offensive then. And about right here, it should hit all three of them since they're in that square. Just leave it to me. That's kind of how the area of effect works. Wherever the area is, that's kind of where everyone gets the benefit. Oh, look at that! With the defense, it's there's nothing. I'll be your opponent. And I think I explained what Drake is last time. Basically, when an opponent gets broken, they uh, tend to like skip everything they could do. Oh yeah, that was a lot of damage. Okay, time to go on the offensive. Uh, I'm not going to use any magic just in case we need to use it again later on, and I don't want to like waste items. So I'm just going to go ahead and attack. Yeah, I just use standard attack. And with the attack boost, this should do good. Oh yeah, look at that, 18 damage. Yeah. I play upon them and then they do 7 damage. Broke a sweat there. So go ahead and beat some of those enemies. Oh yeah, there we go, monster feathers, yes! Yeah. Ah, so nighttime is more dangerous in this forest anyways. You guys might be wondering what I'm still doing here, instead of like going back? Well, I'm just grabbing spare items, because you never know if you need these, right? That is true. Uh, in the Where past we, we used next? to use like claws and all that for... Uh, making old fashioned potions. And boom! We've made it back by 12 o'clock. Ooh, cutscene? Sophie, are you home? Ah, Elise! What's up? I came over to see the strange book you told me about before. I don't even know what voice to use for Pacta. Um... Hmm. Do you mean me? Wait, is that book loading? My name is Plakta. It's nice to meet you. Oh, it's nice to meet you too. I'm Elise. Wait a sec, that book is really talking. I told you so. Yes, it is. I'm quite shocked. <laughs> I've never seen you so flushed before, Elise. Hey, hey, uh, Doctor, right? There's something I'd like to ask you. What is it? How do you feel right now? I don't understand what you mean. Sorry, maybe you know it's too fake. How do you feel when talk when people read you, Blasta? I want to know how books feel. That is a great question, Elise. <laughs> I'm kind of interested too because it's a book, but you have to open the book to read it. People write in the book, but the talking book. So like, what is this? I suppose if I had to describe it according to human emotions, I feel very happy. As a book, naturally, it's pleasing for your information, 
happens to be of use to readers. I see. That's good. I'm feeling happy too. It's also quite pleasant when my pages are filled with more information. I'm sure the newly written pages will attract new readers as well. Yes, a book is meant to be read by people. Then I guess I'll ha just have to read you thoroughly. Yes, I have great expectations of you, Sophie. You two seem to get along well. Yeah! Anyways, now that you're done, I should be going. If you want to read any books, feel free to come visit my store. Your store? Elise runs a bookstore. A uh, bookstore. I'd like to go. You're welcome anytime. I'll see you again. Now we don't have to look at these. We already got these. Fine. Okay. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and make a few more items, and then from there, I think I'll call an episode. So I think I already asked you guys before, but uh, bam, strapple. I am going to uh, ask one more time, cause obviously I have forgotten by now since it's been so long. So the question is, I have a bone. Would you like me to keep reading voices? Granted, there's a lot of female voices, so I'm not really sure what to do. Or, would you like to read it in your mind yourself? And then I will just leave the text box up, like so. Giving you guys time to read it and continue on. I'll let it go, go up to you guys. I have the straw pull up there. And, uh, anyways. Yeah, I'm not done the video yet. I'm gonna go and make some items. Okay, what should I make? So I need paper, but I need neutralizer. So what I think we should make neutralizer first. See, look at all this water options here. Granted, it's not good water, but it's water nonetheless. So go with Thirst 2, and. Hmm, what else are these? I'm going to leave you on the side, because I think I'll need you. Oh yeah, right, right, right. Okay, open the sub-menu, go to sort, and we're going to go to quality. See? Now all the best ones are on top, all the eh ones are at the bottom. This one is really eh. Oh, and the quality is worthless. Man, that is just me. Anyway, since we're using a lot of D items, I'll go ahead and use some more D items. Is this really okay? There we go. And synthesize. Okay, then. Let's start. Ooh, this is a lot of red. Hmm. That gives me an idea. Should I go with the red? Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with red. The reason why I'm going with red is because it's already red. Is this really okay? We don't have to worry about the quality okay, now. And, uh, putting more red with the red equals even more red. I just hurt my brain a little bit. But yeah. Okay, so... I am going to... Put this material here. goes here! Okay. Oh, I just realized something. Yeah, I'll leave that one blank for now. Put one oh, here. Right. This is going well. Put this one up here. I think here. something good will happen. And this one here. Is this really okay? Nope. Hmm. This is great. Oh, right. This is going well. I think I just made the train. Is this really train. okay? Yeah. We 
do increase the red a lot. Okay, well, I'm gonna sacrifice the red because All right. this obviously is going it's not well. really working as well as this expected. Is great. So, this is great. yeah, focus more on the blue than anything. And thanks. Is this really okay? Neutralize a plus five. All right, I'll maybe finish the it now. plus five, or maybe it's just straight up, uh, yeah, five neutralizers. Oh yeah, new item fix. Sophie, are you home? We've come for a visit. Oh, both of you. Perfect timing. I actually have something amazing to tell you. Something amazing? Like what? <laughs> I'm sure you'll be surprised. Come on. Let, what is it? Stop putting on, on airs and just tell us. Okay, okay. You see, there's a story about this really amazing cauldron. An amazing cauldron? What kind of cauldron? Well... Oh, yeah. Well, you see, it's called the Cauldron of Knowledge. If you obtain it, it lets you use really amazing alchemy. Oh, really amazing, like, what? Um, I don't know. Oh, so where's this cauldron of knowledge anyway? Well, I don't know that either. Sounds like you don't know anything about it. Who'd you hear the story from? From Planta, but it seems like he's forgotten all the details. Then it doesn't sound like something to worry about. We don't even know if it exists. Well, it really exists. But it does sound something out of a dream. I can understand why Sophie would want it. Yeah, I really want to find it, but... I suppose so. If there's anything I can help with, just tell me. I'll do what I can. Me too! In exchange though, if you find it, I want to use it a little. That's fine. Thanks, you two! I'll be going now. I shall leave too. See you later, Sophie. Yeah, see you later! Ah. If I had that cauldron, I'd be able to use alchemy like Grandma did. I'll definitely find it! I wonder how Grandma's alchemy was. That's like interesting. I wonder if it relates to some of the old games in the series. Cause basically, uh, this series is called the Mysterious series. But I think there were two or three other series before this one? that uh, basically had the same premise going on. So this is kind of a under the radar game and uh, only a few people like Moi kind of know about it. Ah, they missed the barrel thing. I think I got way a little bit and then the barrel will be good. Alright, well anyways guys, without further ado, remember to tackle that subscribe button, splash around the likes, and remember, it's okay to flail sometimes.